sense. If if one is practicing any form of mindfulness, vipassana, insight meditation, and others, other kinds, but mainly that kind, mainly the mindfulness meditation, <clears throat> that was invented by the Buddha. 2,500 years ago. That's what the Four Foundations of Mindfulness Sutta is presenting, is here's how to practice mindfulness, Four Foundations of Mindfulness. So if you're doing mindfulness meditation, insight meditation, vipassana meditation, all the same thing, basically. Then you should be doing it, I'm not lecturing anybody, I'm saying one should be doing it the way the Buddha taught it. He invented it. And there's a bunch of people nowadays that have their version of it. Well, if you can improve on a Buddha's version of mindfulness meditation, good luck. I mean, that's the pinnacle of conceit to think that you can do it better. But there's a bunch of people that do. They have their own version. You know, do it this way. Very, very popular. The big Vipassana group now has their own version of the Buddhist teaching. Well, that isn't the Buddhist teaching. It's your version. Anyway, the reason it's important is because if you want to be happy, get enlightened rise in spirituality and morality and uh, wisdom and everything. You have to do it right. And the Buddha said when he introduced the meditation, this is the only way. What I'm going to tell you now is the only way for the purification of being for overcoming sorrow, grief, lamentation, and woe, for the realization of enlightenment. This is the only way. And the reason you, it's so important to do it correctly, and I'm not trying to lecture anybody, but I see, I run in, you know, I see on YouTube and I see in person people doing these practices, these off-brand, kind of, sort of, my version of, and they won't work. It's a very, if everything, if all these things worked, then Starbucks would be full of happy, enlightened people. And you'd run into all kinds of saints at Safeway. And, <laughs> you know, the world would be a different place. But there aren't that many uh, wonderful, virtuous, enlightened people around. And the reason is, it's not easy to get there. And there is a specific formula for getting there. And it's, it's very, you know, if it was easy and simple, like I said, there'd be all kinds of enlightened people around. But it isn't. It's very particular, very specific. It's like if you take crude oil and you want to make it into gasoline. Well, you don't just boil it in a pot or uh, add uh, water to it or something. They, you know, they build refineries that cover acres of land. 
and have all kinds of processes of uh, refining and heating and cooling and uh, processing and pressurizing and all that. And then they, but they come out with 87, 89 and 91 octane gasoline every time, pretty much. And if you test it, it's pretty much, you know, that it's 89, it's 87, it's 91. It's gasoline. Your car runs fine on it almost every time. Once in a while, you can run into bad gas. It's very rare, though. <clears throat> but they, at a refinery, they're taking crude oil. They're making gasoline, diesel, kerosene, alcohol, nitromethane. They're breaking up this gooey, thick, dark crude oil and making it into all these specific, and they, they're very specific. I mean, they have to be, you know, uh, or they don't work. And the same, it's the same with uh, getting enlightened, getting happy, getting free there's a very specific way to do it, a very specific formula. If you want to have the product that comes out of this refinement meet all the standards, you know, if you want 87 octane gasoline, you have to process crude oil in a very particular way. And if you want to be uh, enlightened and developed and have insights and develop your morality and everything, you have to do it in a very specific way. And they say, oh, well, it's close, you know, it's kind of like that, it's sort of like that. Well, if you're sending a rocket to the moon and you're close, but you miss it by two miles, well, your rocket's gone, you know. It passes the moon and it, is, it just keeps going forever. So it was close. But the astronauts that are in that rocket <laughs> are uh, kind of out of luck. You know, they were hoping to land on the moon and then come back. You know, so so when they send a rocket to the moon, they don't just take their rocket. And, oh, there's the moon. And they point it at it. That'll probably hit it. I mean, there's all these complex computations that have to be done. You know, they go around the earth and get out of the gravitational and get hurtled towards the gravitational pull of the moon. And, uh, you know, it's a very, it's not easy to do. It takes a very specific path and process. And uh, mindfulness meditation, uh, four foundations of mindfulness, same thing. It's a, it has to be, it's, it's got to be very specific. You have to do it just the way it's taught. <laughs>